experiment number one objective to determine the horizontal component of earth's magnetic field strength by tangent galvanometer apparatus tangent galvanometer coil devastated reversing key connecting wires and ammeter theory The purpose of this experiment is to measure the horizontal component of Earth's magnetic field. We will accomplish this by using a tangent galvanometer. The tangent galvanometer was originally designed to measure an unknown current by comparing the magnetic field produced by that current with the Earth's magnetic field. Using an ammeter together with a tangent galvanometer, we can compare it. Tangent law. This law determines the strength of two perpendicular magnetic fields. It states that if a compass of magnet is subjected to a magnetic field H that is perpendicular to the horizontal component of Earth's magnetic field, it will reset an angle to the Earth's magnetic field. Tangent law is expressed as H is equal to H e horizontal component of Earth magnetic field and tangent theta where h is the applied magnetic field and we know we can find the value by uh, number of turns and current measuring the current and measuring the radius where r is the radius of the coil so substituting the value of h we can find the value of horizontal component of earth's magnetic field as n i upon 2 r tangent theta where i and tangent theta will be measured experimentally. Procedure Tangent galvanometer, the power supply, the keys from which we can uh, change the uh, direction of the current by changing the keys, the multimeter through which we will be reading the current respectively with the deflection in the galvanometer and the real state which will work as a resistor here. Okay, so in this experiment, uh, first we have to calibrate our galvanometer at zero so that we can easily read we can easily read the deflection when an external magnetic field is applied. Sorry, setting the uh, multimeter at milliampere setting. Now, what we have to do, we have to. Uh, like vary the resistance so that we can take reading at the deflection of 10. You can see here I am varying the resistance in the circuit to set the deflection of the galvanometer's needle at 10 degrees. Why we are reading degrees here because we have circular scale. So. Here it is at 10 exactly and we will take the reading on the multimeter at 10 degrees deflection which is 15.27, uh, we will take 15.27 milliampere or 15.28 like uh, at, at the point where uh, the current reading stays for 5 seconds we will take that reading and we will uh, consider it as the appropriate reading. Now we have taken uh, the reading at anti-clockwise direction. Now reversing the keys, we can take the reading at 10 degree deflection in clockwise direction. We will increase the deflection by 5, 5 units till 30 like uh, when we will start from 10 and we will increase with uh, 5 units till 30 we will get uh, 5 readings at the clockwise direction and by reversing the key we, we can do the same in the anti-clockwise direction and we will have the current corresponding to the deflections. Observations Graph and working formula 
you will make a graph between i and tangent theta and putting the value of i and tangent theta in the working formula to get the value of horizontal component of earth's magnetic field results the value will be found in ampere per meter which you are going to convert into our state which is the common unit for the earth horizontal magnetic field component thank you very much please like subscribe and share